Layer effects can be applied individually or in combination using the effects panel. With this selected text here called Jelly, uh, I can apply using the effects panel here a whole series of effects, layer effects. So in this instance, I want to apply an outline 3D and a gradient overlay to this Jelly text. And if I just expand each one of these in turn, you'll see it shows some settings that I can configure. But to enable them, I can enable 3D to get a 3D effect. I can enable outline to get a white outline around the text, although I can change it from this uh, color swatch here. And I can apply a gradient overlay like that using these simplified effects here. Now, I say simplified because the, these are actually just a, a few simple options that are available to a wider um, selection of options and settings per layer effect. So just to demonstrate that, for this 3D option, this little cog here, if I click that, I'm exposing the full effects settings for that 3D effect. And you get a lot more control when you're in this view. So I can change the uh, diffuse uh, lighting, specular lighting, and the contributions thereof, the amount of ambient lighting, and the light source as well, for instance. Just move it back to where we were. Now similarly, I can, still in the same settings, layer effects, dialogue settings, I can jump to outline and I can change some of the settings in here. Uh, we've already changed the radius, but uh, I could uh, change the effects, the contour effects of the outline there from a solid white color to more of a gradient. Jump into gradient overlay. I can adjust settings in here and the scaling and the offset of that. Now if I just come back out here and just go to the layers panel here, you'll see once I've applied uh, layer effects to this uh, jelly text, you'll see this FX symbol here. And this gives me quick access to that same more ex extensive layer effects dialog. So I'll just click on that. And there we are popping up. Incidentally, layer effects are completely non-destructive. So by disabling these options, we effectively go back to having no layer effects set on this jelly text.